to flatten Baton Rouge Waiting for the train With a feeling near as faded as my dream Bobby flag a diesel down Just before it rained Welcome to Northern Michigan Musicians Journal. This is show number four. And uh, uh, today we've got uh, a special guest from the Jordan Inn. Uh, our last show we had uh, Hips and Rico and Charlie from Charlie's Root Fusion, uh, which just remembered uh, I didn't introduce them uh, in the last show uh, at this part of the stage, at this right. stage of the show. But anyway, uh, uh, so uh, we're going to be talking to Joe Crumholds in a little while. Uh, now how are you doing today, Mary? Ah, uh, pretty good. Well, uh, anything new since the last show? Well, uh, some uh, new things. Uh, I'll talk about some of my projects that I'm having in February. That the Disability Network is having a film and fundraiser on February uh, 24th, and we're going to be uh, sp sponsoring. Uh, uh, something called Moby Maps for uh, disabled people finding their way down to the beach. Uh, those who are may maybe visually impaired finding uh, their way through the sand, uh, going to the uh, uh, water of four area beaches, or those who may be uh, in wheelchairs trying to find their way down to uh, the beach to uh, enjoy the warm water. And uh, so we're uh, raising $1,600 to uh, support the Moby Maps, and uh, we're having the fundraiser at the uh, Inside Out Gallery to... The Inside Out Gallery, where's it's, that It's at? down on, in the warehouse district on uh, Garland Street, which is going to be a film, and we're also having a, a fundraiser on February 24th, so everybody come down 
seven to nine uh, that night. And then I also want to mention that my friend uh, Michelle St. Amant is sponsoring a uh, Skate For Your Heart uh, at uh, Hall Arena on February 12th for Andre's place, which is a physically challenged uh, artist named for her son Andre, who was uh, physically challenged autistic and he had several seizures, but uh, he was a brilliant uh, artist and so we want everyone to support that. Isn't there a park in uh, Traverse City that's like a state-of-the-art park for handicapped individuals? They just got a big grant. Yes, um, you're probably thinking about uh, the one at Greylickville. Greylickville. Yes. And so, uh, well, uh, thanks Mary. Uh, you had some questions for me. Uh, uh, Mary's been doing research in uh, Dear Abby and Ann Landers columns. So she's got about 50, uh, 50 years of questions and she's only picking out the music, musical ones. And okay. she got two for me today. Okay, I have the first one is called Dear Ann Landers, I have taken up the hobby of gu guitar playing. I know you haven't had any training helping people, but you do have this advice column. And your sister Abby has an advice column, so I thought I would ask. When I practice the guitar, I almost always have to use the bathroom. I mean the big stuff. This interferes with my rehearsal, but I have become used to it. Should I see my family physician? Wow. Well, they, they should have edited out that part about Abby not having any training helping people. But I think it is astounding that Abby and Ann Landers are sisters. Uh, well, the first thing uh, uh, I'd say is, uh, um, uh, well, uh, they didn't mention their age, but I'm, I'm 57 years old, and I, I know I'd save a lot of money on, uh, on uh, laxative if I had this problem. Uh, and uh, I, I'd say also, <laughs> it's obvious that playing music relaxes you. Um, if I were you, I'd save the $95 on your doctor's visit. Uh, that, uh, uncovered doctor's visit or copay and spend it on musical equipment and don't worry about uh, your relaxation problem. Uh, next question. Okay. Uh, dear Abby, ever since I watched Animal House back in 1976 and Mongo smashed up charming guy with a guitar's guitar. I have had nightmares about someone smashing my guitar the same way. The guy was just sitting on the steps in the house at the toga party and Mongo smashed the guitar on the wall. There has never been happened to me, but despite the economy and all the wars around the world, the reason I cannot sleep is my vision of that terrible incident. How do I get past it? Wow. This is guy's got a problem. I, I'll tell you what, that scene bothers me too. But I think John Belushi was the one that smashed a uh, charming guy with a guitar's guitar on the staircase. So it wasn't Mongol. So, so you're already having a, a sort of a memory diffusion there. Uh, and uh, Animal House is not just a movie, it's history now. I think uh, children of today could watch that movie so you know exactly what it was like. In, uh, in college back in them days. And, uh, I, you know, I'd give anything to be in a food fight again. Uh, I was at MSU in a large cafeteria, and um, I'd say one food fight was official. There was food thrown once in a while, but I think this movie stimulated that kind of behavior, and uh, they really did throw food around. Um, uh, I suggest that you go to the video store and uh, see if you could find some old videos of a band called The Who from England. The Who used to smash their equipment on stage, sometimes at the end of a concert. And I think if you, uh, I think that'll help ease your fears. And uh, uh, I don't know, you know, you might, you might want to get a, a used guitar and smash your, your own guitar. And, and might, you might be able to sleep better after that. Okay. And, uh, and if you want to call me, uh, call me uh, in the morning at 9 and uh, we can talk more. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, so now we're going to get on to our uh, uh, guests. Okay. 
Welcome folks, you're watching Northern Michigan Musicians Journal. This is our fourth show and I've got a special guest here today, the proprietor of the Jordan Inn in East Jordan, Michigan, Joe Crumholtz. Uh, he's active in the community, he's doing some stuff with Boyne City because I guess East Jordan and Boyne City are pals, they do a lot of events together. So uh, Joe, how are you doing, Joe? I'm doing great. I'm th I really am. I'm, th I'm doing really good. I, I like to think I'm a friend of, uh, of the music of the whole Jordan and Boyne Valley area, so that's great. It's, it's, it's... The Jordan Inn has open mic every Tuesday night. We sure do. Uh, sponsored by, or uh, conducted by Cal... Cal Manis. Cal Manis, Cal is, Manis. Uh, uh, he's got a nice hollow body red guitar. You've played with him before. He's really got a nice rockabilly sound. But he he can he can, play, he can run the full genre, and he and has. you've got other stuff going on too. Tell me some more. Like you have something that's starting on Fridays now. Uh, uh, Friday we do the Rock and Roll Hotel. Rock and Roll Hotel is what we is is geared more towards uh, bands. If you guys don't have a, a, a gig, then go ahead and bring your rigs, plug on in, and uh, we'll go ahead and probably run as many as we can. Four bands will probably be our max for a night. Uh, it's a great opportunity for these guys that are working on some things to get it out there. Before in front of some people, so you see what kind of reaction they get. Um, it's also we've managed to um, become a quite a, a fun part of the music scene in Northern Michigan. So we got a lot of musicians that hang out all the time. So it's a nice way to play for your peers and get in there and get some good feedback and then and then even get some pointers. These guys end up uh, a lot of help comes from the. Comes from the peanut gallery, as per se, but it's not, you know, like I said, we have a lot of talent in the room. And, uh, well, I think that that's what Northern Michigan Musicians Journal is all about, in fact. This is, he's talking about bands who may never played in public before. You guys might be stuck in the basement or in the attic, and uh, um, uh, you got to get out, and you got to be willing to make a few mistakes. Uh, it probably will go better than you think. And you guys can have a house PA or to... Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, have, we'll be able to plug in, we'll have a drum kit. Uh, but a drum all kit this, too, that's important. Yeah. You know, all this is spun off of our open mic nights because we were getting a great response for our open mic nights. We're getting a lot of different guys with a lot of different genres coming in. But then again, we were getting uh, the full groups in, and uh, but we almost had more of a hootenanny participation. So the open mic nights uh, were lending to, of course, allowing everybody to get that experience, but just that taste. It's not enough for a full set. And then, this, like I said, this uh, rock and roll hotel gives you an opportunity to, to play a full set and play some of the best stuff. Bad Dog Bites. Bad Dog Bites. That's a band yep, from East Jordan. Yep, they're out there. Well, we, you know, we've been very, uh, very fortunate. Like I said, we've got uh, uh, Bad Dog Bites and Gripsters. Um, and then we've got Oliver Stone comes in. you got Claude Frog. They come in quite often. Now um, you, you, know, you don't just have entertainment, though. You have a full service restaurant, right? Oh, yeah. I, I do fine dining early in the evening. So, I mean, we go the full way. I, now, I, what are your hours? Because I, I understand sometimes you're closed except for appointment. Well, uh, like I say, but that makes us 24 hours. All you got to no, do is get a hold of me and then we're opened hours. up. Yep. And you're in the phone book. Yeah, yep, we're and always you available. Can tell, you can tell Oh, yeah. Us. Well, we're right downtown East Jordan. Um, we're right underneath the uh, underneath the shadows of the Ironworks, across from uh, Napa on the corner of Williams and Main, downtown East Jordan. Um, I have a uh, lodging. Uh, so I have 11 rooms which is very nice especially for that Friday night group that you know not everybody that enjoys the the music uh, um, plays the music there's a we get a lot of people in that want to just come in and have a good old time and really let themselves uh, let their hair down and not have to worry about anything so we do have the rooms there I do uh, I do a full full menu breakfast lunch and dinner we do have a full bar would you call yourself a bread and breakfast? So. Uh, we're bed and breakfast, but we're more like a country inn. We're much larger than a bed and breakfast. Like I said, we do have 11 rooms available. We can sleep as many as 30 people. That's 231-536-9906. Yep, yep, 9906 yeah. in downtown East Jordan. So what are some other events you're involved in? You were talking to oh, me goodness. before the show about the Mushroom Festival. and. Yeah, I've been very fortunate. Uh, the Jordan Inn has um, tip, uh, or, or historically um, been one of the main sponsors of the Mushroom Festival kickoff party. Which is in Boyne. Which is in Boyne City. It's at the Thursday night. They have a kickoff party where they have the... Uh, they have the Morel Challenge. I don't know if you've ever had a chance to go down there where they, um, the, the kids make cars and race cars made out of vegetables in a pine wind derby kind of thing. I, I haven't yet, but I sure <laughs> love Morel mushrooms. I wish someone would tell me where to find them. Uh, well, like I said, <laughs> now, this new pine wind derby good. craze is pretty fun. Where like Right Brain Brewery and some of the uh, smaller, uh, some small local places are doing the Pinewood Derbies. Uh, the Mushroom Festival has been doing this for years, and where they do the vegetable races, which yeah, and that filters out, and the kids go to the uh, um, 
the kids will be probably heading off to the midway. So it's a family event. This is family it, stuff. It definitely starts out that way. And, and in the beginning, what we'll do is buy, uh, for a donation, uh, you can enter the big tent, and that's at the Mushroom Festival, and you'll come on in. Um, we'll have a full meal. We're gonna, what we're doing is we're going to do a Cajun theme, so you'll have your uh, etouffee and your gumbo, and uh, and we'll have some beans and some rice for you, and some uh, some bread pudding and things, and and, and kick it off right. Uh, we'll have um, the Hot Club of Northern Michigan will be playing. They've that's a band. Some, okay. Yeah, a stand-up bass and uh, uh, some uh, violin, you know, so we uh, saw it up a little bit there. And then uh, we're going to break into uh, to our mu music and entertainment for the evening. Now, there will be uh, adult beverages served. You know? oh, starting at what time? Oh, that'll start probably at 5.30 right during the whole event. Start. And this in the, t the tent. That's in the big It's going to be warm by then, oh, right? Yeah. No more snow. And if not, we'll have heaters. And hopefully we'll get it packed enough. Now, um, I, I haven't told you how excited I am about this, but I've got as, uh, as many. You're excited. Oh, You're gosh. In. i got 40-plus musicians committed to playing this event. And, and it's it, hard to get a commitment out of a musician, well, right? Well, it is. Dang it, well, it is. But you know what? I Like I said, I'm very excited. And what we're, what we've structured it into three sets. Um, now, I've got a, a, a comedian slated into my MC in. So in between, we'll have an opportunity to have a comedian come out and visit the, with the who's crew. Who's the comedian? Uh, that'll be Kathy Dunbar. She's from the downstate there, but she's going to come up and do some... Uh, uh, like I said, the MC for me, and uh, we're going to start off with uh, some dinner music and some mm -hmm. uh, something uh, a little occasion, and we're going to go into Sweetwater Blues Band. Some of them gentlemen from there, you've, you've I'm sure oh yeah, played I with recognize them. Yeah. There. And uh, and and because there's just so much great talent to choose from. And great, so much great talent in Northern to Michigan, right? Yes, yeah. In Northern Michigan, Local. And, and in the immediate area. Yeah, you know, uh, I mean, I am truly blessed with the opportunity to to share. You know, like I said, this talent. I can only play the radio. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I'll just sit and listen. But I don't mind that. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and, and in the middle of each set, what we do is because with our open mic format and our rock and roll hotel, all of our bands kind of tend to play together a little bit. The middle of each set at, at the, uh, you're back to the Jordan Inn now, right? No, we're back oh, this into, is at, we're the, at the Mushroom Festival. Mushroom Festival, okay. okay. Like, so the Sweetwater Blues Band, and uh, we'll, we'll go up and they'll play They'll play some of their, their best their best pieces for the crowd. And then they'll be joined by other artists, such as yourself or Kale Manis and some of the other guys, some of the, uh, the like I said, the rockabilly, the bluesy type of music. And that's going to be our first set. Uh, we're going to run that. It'll be an hour. Then we'll have our MC back up. And then we're going to go ahead and go another hour where we have uh, um, Claude Frog will come out with a little bit of the, uh, the old 80s rock and roll, retro yeah, rock. Yeah. And, uh, and they're going to be transitioned a little bit by uh, um, Acoustic Stew. And they'll be oh yeah, those stage. guys. Yes, I and then we'll let the set run out with Acoustic Stew finishing the set with with, with some of their best best stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I don't know if you have the opportunity to uh, Derek uh, Petter. Have you heard Derek Petter at all play his guitar? I haven't. Uh, he's a pretty good guy. He's a pretty good uh, musician. He, he's a very good musician. What city? Where's he from? Uh, he's he's out of Ellsworth and Ellsworth. in Charlevoix. He's been playing the flight deck and he's been playing at our place. Is he and, playing with a band? Uh, well, they play with Oliver Stone. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. so, uh, and uh, and uh, you might remember Rob and um, and Rich Simmons is on the drums. There okay, so they're, okay. So yeah. they're going to get out there. They're going to play a little bit, and then they're going to be joined by some of our harder genre, like Gripster. A, a, a Twisted Finster, they played last year, right? Are oh, they? But the, and I don't know not, if I don't know if they're going to be slated to play for Saturday night or not. But you said who is it? Gripster. Well, Gripster is a, is another group of local guys. You know, uh, guys Rock that work, roll. live, breathe. Uh, uh, Boyne City, East Jordan. Uh, you know, uh, you work in the you know, the Red Mesa, your waiter, and you might sit there and you say, "Hey, wait a minute, you served me dinner tonight. Now you're going to blow my face off with some great music." <laughs> anyway, uh, my like favorite said, place, though. The Red Mason. There you go. No. Well, then, then we'll transition to some of the harder stuff with, like I say, uh, and, and that and Bad Dog Bites and, and things yeah. like that. And then uh, and that'll wrap our night up. But that's going to give us a, a natural reaction. I'm hoping they'll come in and do a little bit with Allison doing her uh, uh, Bobby McGee rendition and with Jerry on guitar. And, and some, you know, we've got, a, a, we've got room for a lot of other musicians to join us too. But like I say, this is going to be a truly uh, musical variety show showcasing all kinds of talent all over the Jordan and uh, Boyne Valley. Uh, you know, to transcend all the way to Central Lake and Ellsworth and all these great musicians from all over are going to be able to play play with us. And unfortunately, it's a Thursday night. So I think that's really going to be a great show, and I'm very excited about uh, having the opportunity to, to help put that that on. It sounds like you've been recently spending some time on it, too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like so, yeah, and you have uh, music out on the um, the back deck at uh, Jordan Inn in the summertime, we too. We do, we do. But I, we heard, also... I played with John Slough there uh, one time. Oh, yeah. and, uh, in fact, the band uh, Solution played for you guys uh, 
Right, and I'm very fortunate. I get a lot. I get a lot of great, a lot of great musicians in, a lot of great talent in. Uh, what we have been doing is playing in the front. So then we got that beautiful view overlooking the lake, and we've got a nice uh, outdoor venue. And I'm licensed out there, so we are able to serve your cocktails and beverages outdoors. Yeah. Well, you're allowed to take your beverages, so so the the people that do smoke are have an opportunity to have, also be able smoke to smoke outdoors, as we're outside yeah. the building and so many feet away. And uh, but uh, but not in the. Uh, um, not so not to affect any of the musicians of course not oh no musicians don't smoke cigarettes anymore <laughs> you know? but uh yeah and so you're and your freedom festivals right across the street i mean there's a few business buildings in your oh, way goodness, but yeah. the park is right a uh, stone's throw away from you also and we've got all, yeah we've got all kinds of stuff slated we'll have live music for both days of the freedom festival which is this uh um, second from last weekend in june um we'll be uh we'll also we're doing a summer music festival um in august and we'll be doing Oktoberfest, in which will slate music both Friday and Saturday for both the Summer Music Festival and the Oktoberfest uh, in October, which which coincides with East Jordan's Pumpkin Festival. Yeah, well, well, I've always known the Jordan Inn to be have a really uh, nice setup. Well, you got you. nice rooms and uh, a, a great old-fashioned bar, and uh, another sitting room and back. It is a big house. Right. Uh, yeah. Where did that house come from? What was was it always a bed and breakfast or it, it, well, actually, restaurant? It was the original um, lumber baron of the area, uh, Porter. Oh, Porter. Uh, well, yeah, it was the original Porter Mansion, and the gentleman had uh, actually taken it, uh, two buildings and attached them to one another. Wow. And that was a starter mansion. And then when things got rolling, that's when he uh, built over on Division. But this was his first, his first place that he bequeathed to his daughter who she uh, went ahead and used as a uh, boarding house as early as 1900. And it became the Taylor's Inn in 1911 when Chris Taylor took it over and he did a lot of additions and renovations to the place, but it has been a hotel um, in operation for, for a very, very long time. Now it fell into a little disrepair in the 80s and that's when uh, we came along and found it and she had uh, been Pretty much to shut slated, down. Slated for yeah, it was, she was condemned, wow. and, uh, and we were able to go ahead and touch it up a little bit and bring it back. and And I, I'm glad you appreciate the the rooms and everything. We do have a website at uh, www.jordanin.com where you'd be able to um, visit and see our different rooms and and the different grounds and the different facilities we do have available. That's an interesting place. And last year and the year before, you had exchange students working there from Russia, right? Right. Are yeah. They, well, it's, it's the it's, Ukraine. It's, mm -hmm. it's a great. We had the, the Russian girls for the last couple of years, and I had some Bulgarian girls. I had and some a Polish friend. Girls, so. uh, my friend met his wife on the internet, and she was from Russia. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, uh, he married her. In fact, he's been married 15 years. He says if he would have met her, he would have never got married the first four times. <laughs> but uh, they come out and they had a good time, and they were talking in Russian to your waitresses. Oh, it's a wonderful opportunity, though, to, you know, to have the exchange the exchange girls in to come in. You have some this year? It, well, we hope so. We'll see. We maybe have, are they going to be real young ones, or you maybe get some little older ones this well, time? <laughs> well, they're, they're all of age. I'm they're all, like I'm, oh, okay. I'm doing something fishy there. <laughs> no, and, I'm just saying, and, you get and, some in the, like in the late 40s, early 50s. That would be nice. I, I just want them to be pleasant. Like yeah. they, like I've, like I've, um, I have been fortunate enough to find some very pleasant, very nice girls to be around who are very excited about being here and meeting it meeting everybody and being part of our American culture. And it's, uh, I'm very careful to tell the girls before they come over as we interview that the, the East Jordan isn't the largest community, but we are that secret little place. So when they get a chance to come on over and they find out how fun the Jordan they is. They were right? having more fun than the girls who live in East Jordan all the time, I think. Right? And, uh, and, and, all the, and then, uh, of course, the girls from East Jordan do come down as well, and all the guys. And We are that sneaky little fun place in East Jordan that if you really didn't know about it, you wouldn't know anything was going on. Even if you get out of the car, you're gonna, you open up the door and out comes all the music. But it's a good time, and we have a good time doing it. And, uh, and like I said, I've been truly fortunate with the... Uh, with the generosity of the entertainment and the, and the talent in the area to come and share their musical uh, talents with me. And, and then I get to go back there and I get to prepare my, my foods and get things out there. And, and we just really have a good time down there. As you know, you've oh, been down there. You're a master chef. That's right. Yeah, you do a lot of the cooking. Well, thank you. Yes, I have a, a good time. In fact, I, should, uh, I, I, should, I don't come down there as much as I should because I'm just eight miles away. It's <laughs> got, and, and Tuesday nights... Well, hopefully we'll see you real soon on this the next Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope we have an opportunity to share some clips and see some of people can see the different music available. You can also go to the Jordan Inn on Facebook. It's Jordan Inn, 
food, wine, spirits, and lodging. Friend us. All one word. Yep, there's lots of stuff on there to look at. Jordan in. Food, wine, spirits, and lodging. Food, wine, spirits, and lodging. Yeah, and dot, dot com. Right? No, no, that's the Facebook. Well, oh, you're on Facebook. Oh, it's all popular with all the kids nowadays. Yeah, I, I like Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's... Me, yes. You gotta wrap it up, so why don't you just uh, say goodbye, and why don't you play us a song in a few minutes? All right, very good. Well, well, Joe, you know what? I'm going to play a song, and I, I really do have to write one for East Jordan, but I'm going to do something that uh, is called a Mansalona love song. Very good. And very it's good. nice having you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, take Hello, this song is called A Mansalona Love Song. Last summer, I found a job in Mansalona, Michigan. I was cutting the front lawn for a girl named Wendy. Sometimes that lawnmower wouldn't start for Wendy didn't mind We'd talk all day and I'd drink all of her wine Then one day the bank came and took the lawnmower Because I didn't pay the monthly minimum premium But Wendy knew that I was no slacker and she handed me the weed whacker And I whacked my way right into her arms I think I found paradise And I don't have to think twice Oh, that Wendy, she sure is nice You better be thankful, son, now that you've met Wendy. So many other guys have to go around begging on their knees. But when a man finds himself a really, really good woman, all he's got to ask her, all he's got to say is please. Now me and Wendy, we live together in Mansalona, Michigan. And the weed whacker, it's hanging on the wall. We both think life is fine. We make love and drink lots of wine. And Wendy sings me songs and plays my guitar. I think I found paradise And I don't have to think twice Oh, that Wendy, she sure is nice I think I found paradise And I don't have to think twice And oh no, I'm not cutting any more lawns not with a weed whacker No, I'm not gonna be Cutting any more long Okay, this song is called Through the Waves It's kind of a modern uh, song of seduction I'd like you this way, I'd like you that way I don't care if I have you at all There isn't one way, that is the best way All that matters is I'm here when you call When you call, when you call my number When you call and say your name I hold you in my arms through the waves 
You can feel my heartbeat through the waves when you call. It isn't easy to explain how I feel to hear your name. I call your number when life isn't right. I hear your voice through the waves. When I call, I call your number. When I call and say your name, I hold you in my arms through the waves. You can feel my heartbeat through the waves when I call. No one understands why I feel this way You're my star in the sky And that's where you will stay And if we're both real good Then someday we will be bad If I'm bad with you Then that's all I'll ever want to do I'd like you this way I'd like you that way I don't mind if I have you at all There isn't one way that is the best way All that matters is I'm here when you call When you call When you call When you call When you call, when you call.